the highly anticipated snails are finally here. Woo! They're so cute. Just look at their wiggles. Okay, <laughs> so here's everything you need to know about the Xenobiology update. Twenty twenty two is off to a good start with a bunch of new stuff such as new buildings, new lore, new missions, new samples, new modules, and obviously new mobs. Let's go! Planets have a larger collision volume. This will basically make them easier to select, especially when using a controller. For those of us who love to plant, all hazardous flora has been updated to produce multiple seeds and their growth time has been reduced. This feature will be very handy as snails gotta eat. Which brings us to our next point. Space snails initially started as a joke years ago when the devs joked about adding mobs. But now, space snails are now a part of the universe of Astroneer and they are here to stay. Each snail is unique to each planet or moon, and their shells can be found all over their respective landmasses. Snail shells behave like regular research samples and can be researched for bites, but obviously, they're meant to be a collection piece, so keep some for display. Snails are also slow creatures, so in order to transport them, you need a custom built terrarium. Building a terrarium for the snail is a strong sign of trust and the snail would happily become your permanent companion for it. The terrarium even has a feeding hole so your companion can remain fed. And when a snail is fully fed, it becomes extra happy and super energized. When in this state, you receive a unique benefit such as speed, light source, or oxygen. Each snail also has their own favorite food which will extend the duration of their benefits and you can check out their duration based on the circle on top of their terrarium. With a new cinematic coming into play, a new adventure story was written into the game to uncover the mystery surrounding the snails. With a new mission in early game, you can now deploy a Xenobiology lab. This lab can only be deployed on Silva and it will require power and a tier 2 oxygenator to operate. Once operational, the Xeno lab will become your main source for adventure stories about the origin of the snails. To unlock the new lore, you will need to complete the snail missions that will guide you into a journey where you literally catch them all. The snail missions for each planet, without providing too much spoilers, are structured in this manner. First up, you need to research cells in the wild. This will reward you with an empty terrarium. Then, you have to fill the terrarium with soil, a resource, and a seed that is specified by the mission. Next, place a horn on the terrarium and it will play a snail song, which a snail would emerge. All you have to do from there is woo a snail with your dancing, and once it is satisfied, you gained yourself a friend. Once done, all you have to do is slot your new friend onto the Xeno lab and you unlock the full story surrounding this snail. So now you know how to get yourself a snail. Your snail is a permanent reward, so don't lose it. Thank you for watching, my name is Sandbox Link. You guys have been awesome, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!